oh my God, what are they looking at? You know, it's nothing. But the ones that I really have now, I guess they really represent trials and tribulations in my life of going through heartbreaks and pain and, oh my God, down to a son that got locked up for 40 something years and uh, mostly a lot of heartbreak, a lot of being homeless. When I'm painting, it's like I'm inside of the painting and I'm zoned out. And I'm, I'm really, like when I hear listen to music sometimes, music takes me through mountains and other parts of the country. So that's the way the painting does me. It takes me somewhere. If we order pizza, paint on the pizza box. One time we ordered a birthday cake, paint it on that box. Anything I get in my hand, I'll obtain the cardboard. And cardboard became beautiful, and cardboard is beautiful. And I, I just thought that something that's been trampled down and has no meaning to it can be given a beautiful meaning, can be given a meaning. It can be actually be revised, which I almost feel something like myself, you know? So you're a little bit like a piece of cardboard? Something like a piece of cardboard. Something like a piece of cardboard. I felt the only meaning to me was to babysit and uh, the, the most valuable thing I had for myself, well, I had the ability to paint. Sometimes I'd be sitting up till 4 o'clock in the morning, 5 o'clock in the morning, just painting. And, and, and a lot of times I paint, I, lose, I would lose thought on just what life was offering. Paintings have a lot of color to them. Is that intentional? I love color. I love, I love color. There's something about colors that just wakes me up on the inside and it energizes me and it makes me feel just thrilled. That's just the only one I can use for it. But I love color. It, it's who I am and who I, it makes me feel like I'm somebody. Okay. I can't explain, but there's a lot on the inside that when I, when I do colors, that it wakes me up and, and it, it pushes depression to it just make the depression just go somewhere and do whatever it wants to do. Do you care what people think of you? I used to. I used to and I had to develop the thought that people are gonna think what they wanna think about you regardless. So since I'm the one that gotta live in this body, I'm the one that gotta determine whether I'm gonna be happy or whether I'm gonna live up to people's expectations, I had to delete that. And so now, it's what I think of me that counts. Everybody has an opinion, but mine is the only one that has value. Because you're going to think anyhow. It doesn't matter because I'm me. That's why I say I'm me. And I think if everybody let everybody be themselves, then it would be a better place. Whatever it is that makes a person happy for their own self. Be happy. I've, 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 I've lived so much depression. I've lived so much hurt and pain, especially the pain. God said a lot of people in this world are in so much pain and they don't know how to get rid of that pain. They don't know how to escape from that pain. And, and I've found an escape from the pain. And so if you learn to be yourself, learn not to worry about what somebody's gonna think of you and, and everything, then you can make it. What do you think your purpose is here? Wow. <laughs> If, if nothing ever comes of this, the fact that I'm here in this position, place where I never thought that I would be at, uh, for this moment, I'm enjoying this moment. And I will always have this moment to talk about. And I will always have this moment to share with others. And I will always encourage you with others. If you put your mind, whatever it is that you want to do, Put your mind to it and it'll happen for you.